right, I'm Marcus Blake with uh, That Nerd Show. We are talking once again with uh, Jonathan Brownlee about the Dallas Film Festival and Studio Moody Grill. Glad to have you back with us, uh, Jonathan. Well, it's great great to be back with you guys. Last time I talked to you, I was just a filmmaker. I know. You know, with a couple of films in the festival, and now I don't know how they did it, but they, for some reason, I'm running the show right now. So. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. Uh, I, I've been here for about five or six months as the CEO and president of the Dallas Film Society. I'm loving it. Yeah. Having a great event today. So, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, why the dates have changed and the uh, dip is a little bit later. Well, we wanted to, you know, being the new guy, I can always ask for forgiveness as opposed to permission with a lot of sure. things, right? So, and we were really in a very crowded space in, in the March, April, not only here in Dallas, but internationally, if you look at sort of the trajectory of film festivals, it's a very crowded space. So, we wanted to give us a little bit more runway, uh, get into May, weather's going to be very nice in May, but also, it gives us an opportunity to see other films that are perhaps didn't get into South by Southwest or Sundance or any of the other festivals and gives us a chance to pick them off. So we're hoping that works for us. Okay. Now, I mean, in recent years, we, there's been a lot more partnership with the Studio Movie Grill with uh, film festivals, you know, here in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, why is that important for the Dallas Film Society now? Well, I, I've been lucky to be on both sides of it. My film actually, three days in August, released at Studio Movie Grill nationwide. So I've been lucky as a filmmaker to take advantage of the generosity of Studio Movie Grill, the partnership of what they do. As a film society here, it's really important that we have you know, great corporate partners. The Studio Movie Grill is one of them. I mean, for a lot of reasons. One, of course, they have the obvious, they have theaters, they have screens for us to do programs with, but they have an incredible group of people there that you know, are, in, are really building partnerships, education programs, and so you know, like in tandem with them, we're able to create these amazing programs to support the community. Okay. Now, I mean, since it's Studio Movie Grill and it, you know, centers around food and movies, will there be any tie-ins with food and the Dallas Film Festival this year? Anything you can tell us? Well, we can now officially announce that the film festival will be at West Village. Okay. Uh, all eight days at the Magnolia Theater, May 3rd through May 10th. And so, obviously, there's a lot of great restaurants in West Village to eat at. Oh, right. Um, so, currently, we're not really scheduling any specific uh, food-based films. But in some of our other screening series that we do, for instance, at the Farmer's Market and elsewhere, we will be looking at some film-based films. Okay. Food -based films. Now, you know us. We've got to ask you a nerdy question, but you're, but you're going to get two from us. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. In relation to the Studio Movie Grill. Yes. What is... What would be your favorite nerd film that is just perfect for this at a studio movie grill? And it doesn't have to be a new film, right? It doesn't have to be a new film. It could be a classic. Uh, I, I would probably say Animal House. You know? I, would so, I would go with Animal House. Oh, perfect. Love that film. And it is the 40th anniversary of it. Go figure. I know. <laughs> now, our nerdy question this year, and I'm yes. sure you'll get asked again. Within the nerd universe, we always love the different weapons, from a lightsaber to a phaser, Thor's hammer. What would be your weapon of choice? Well, I have a little backstory to this. So Bob Anderson is actually the fight choreographer that choreographed the initial Star Wars. Right. Bob Anderson actually studied under Patty Crane. Patty Crane was the stunt double for Errol Flynn. Okay. So I'm a lightsaber guy because I actually studied with Patty Crane as well and some of his students. So I feel like I have some lineage to the lightsaber. So what you're saying is there's a little bit of nerd in you because you've learned how to wield a lightsaber. It was never a lightsaber. It was always a rapier. Okay. But really, it's, and, the, and the lightsaber is really a combination of katana, Japanese swordwork, and other right. nerd papers. So I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to blades. <laughs> See, it's something you didn't know about me, right? I know. And that's what we love to hear. All right. Well, thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, we look forward to death this year. You bet.